Hello everybody, I'm here for the Game Jam. Welcome back to Kaiser Redux and to the Coin of France, where we are going to go down. If we just get to it, we're not going to go down here. We're not going to go down here either. We're going to go for the Counter Revolution. And this time around, we're not going to go for the Anarchy. We're going to go for the Protector de la France, if I've pronounced that correctly. Um, I do plan on coming and doing the Anarchy uh, route as well. Um, but not today. Anyways, let's go ahead and start with the Road to War. Let's get the good old generic research started. There we go. We do start off with a decent sized army, I think. Yep, 65 divisions. Not bad. Uh, we're going to spend a year building civvies, which I'll build just really anywhere. I, I'm not going to lose. Um, we built seven, that gets us up to 40. Plus this will help us because consumer goods factory goes down by minus five for a wee bit. And production, why are we producing so much equipment, infantry equipment? I do want light tanks and motorize the production from the get-go. Um, no more bombers. Where's CAS? You tell me we don't have CAS researched. Unacceptable behavior from us. Um, Go ahead and get some battleships. Some light ship hulls. I should just say destroyers. And there's some submarines. So we'll start with Oh gosh, three, three, and three. Then we'll bump it up to that. And then we'll we'll get some convoys. Right, let's get going, shall we? And I shall sort out the army in the meantime. The coming of France. The Republic ended the way it began, defeated by the German arms and facing communist revolution at home. In November of 1919, a revolutionary general strike was called by the CGT, paralyzing the country and causing a downfall of the Borgias government. The party of order was not strong enough to put an end to the unrest and in subsequent months, the French establishment was forced out of France by a coalition of left forces in a brief but brutal civil war. For the past 15 years, the self-styled communist France has united behind a common platform, a syndical socialist consensus headed by the ruling Comité de Salut Public. However, by 1936, the consensus that was reached in order to rebuild the shattered country and defend the fruits of the revolution from foreign menace is being deemed as increasingly outdated by many critics, and there are growing calls for more radical policies. France is increasingly confident in her security and in her mission, but the French revolutionary tradition is desperate, and it is unclear precisely which ideolog um, ideological strands shall become a dominant uh, in the years to come. Oh, I, I, I don't know what, what that is. But there we go. There's the background for the coming of France. Let's go ahead. And there goes Kerensky. Kornilov storms into Moscow. Kornilov ain't messing around, boy. He's just he's just getting himself in. Rise of the Sorlians. Uh, Australians emerged during the uh, French Civil War as violent, revolutionary, and staunchly anti-reactionary movement when Georges Valios, Hubert Lagardelle, and Jacques Athures, Athures, I don't know, decided that the time was right to turn an underground political group, the Cercel Proudhon, into a fully-fledged political movement. Their three men observed the world crack as the beginning of the New Age. Uh, okay. Adopted red, e red eagles are some of the Australians who quickly gained popularity amongst the working class. Yes, uh, we must be wary of the red eagles. Mosley wants to talk with Valius. Oswald Mosley of the Union of Britain has invited the leader of the Australians, Georges Valius, to Birmingham to discuss the common ground between their ideologies. Valius has thanked him for the invite and set off in the name of internationalism. Uh, bring him with him as guests, the Hungarian exiles, Tibor and Matthias. Their views are also very much in line with Mosley's and Mussolini's. Does Hungary have a tree? No. No, they don't. <laughs> right. The Totalist Charter. The fall of March Perret. Despite the vigorous organisation of the Syndicalist Congress in May, the preferred administration has been criticised for its lack... It's not preferred, we're going to charge... Um, do, 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 where do I get? Lack of response to the crackdown of trade unions in Germany. Today, the opposition in the Bourse General du Travail has agreed to vote of no confidence in Bevert, who has announced that the new elections will be brought forward to elect a new uh, committee. 
Yeah, his duties will be temporarily assumed by the Comité de Salut Public until the last results come in. Minus 20 stability. Well, that is fantastic. Now, Edward McCrown, return the Jacobins. Yay. Who we need to elect if we want to get um, Maurice. Well, let me just change the colours like I usually do. Uh, election day one, clarifying the communal army. Due to the presence of trade unions within the communal army, it has become overly uh, politicised. Uh, politicised, sorry. Creating tensions within the um, grand tour of national integrity in the arm of syndicalist revolution. Uh, this has resulted in the uh, incumbent uh, chief of staff, the popular civil war general Maurice Gamelin, having to step down. French syndicalist military leaders, oh, he's going to be popping up, mostly sorely, and have decided to ask the soldiers who they wish to lead the French army before the Fed definitely dissolve the military trade unions. Right, since we since we do need the Jacobins to take over, uh, we're going to vote everything that's Jacobin. I like the Jacobins. So the totalists must be Jacobins. They are Jack Storiet, who we all know of. Um. Ah, uh, the Orens. Oh gosh, what, whatever that is. Sorry, my French is not great. Due to his key purpose or um over external and internal security matters, the president the director of uh, this committee is reorganized recognized. Sorry, as one of the keys to supreme power in the coming of France, and is crucial for the destruction of political rivals. It can be a terrible weapon in the hands of one of the extremist factions, the Jacobins and Sorlins. Oh well, it's a shame. It's going into the hands of the Jacobins. Jack Storiet is here as well. I have another Jacks. But uh, Maurice. Okay, what's happened? Oh, the Great Berlin stock market crash. Um, uh, resigned his post of delegate of the internal security to compete for the foreign affairs post. Former chairman um, Mars, oh, that's pervert, still hoping to preserve his political future, has managed to get endorsed by the uh, Travelier wing and is now grappling for the post with stern Jacobin Maurice Thors. Certainly in general, Marcel Bugard and young Magno's uh, disciple Maurice. Oh well, we're we're gonna we're gonna grab this. At least we get some stability back. The Fifth Anglo-Afghani War. Let's go ahead. Oh my days! A decent French general. Mein Gott! It's a stock market crash. Oh gosh, I'm almost been to those guys. Um, economic affairs cancel. And uh, today's election seems to be a plebiscite on the commune's economic policy implemented in recent years. Many visions of the future syndicalist economy, more or less concentrated on industry or agriculture, are in competition. All of them are crucial for the future final struggle against Germany. Industrialization. Oh, it's, it's time for a spy. Um, Agnes Goraud. You have, you can be our first person. And we do have, great, I'm not going to be able to pronounce that for the entire playthrough. Foreign affairs, the Austrians have withdrawn from Italy. And uh, with the final election day, one of the, the leading issues of the Commune of France is raised. Diplomacy, which carries a double task of spreading the revolution throughout the world and preparing for revenge against Germany. If the very existence of the syndicalist international is not in danger yet, the future theatres of the world the revolution will be defined today. Oh, ho, 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 ho. world the revolution. Yeah, stuff it. World Revolution, baby. That's what we're going for. The results. Jacobin majority. The elections have finally put the Jacobins in power, permitting the return of Leninist. Leninist, sorry, values to lead the commune to the World Revolution. The official statement has been provided by key Jacobin member Maurice Thorez that reads, Dear comrades, listen to my words. The syndicalist structures are decaying whilst the sorely and reactionaries and the anarchist filth are taken to the streets. However, now that the future of France is in our hands, there can be, at uh, last, be hope. Streets will be painted red with blood of our foes, while the workers of the world can at last rejoice. Leninism is not dead. However, before the newly established Parti Communiste Francaise can enforce its will in the nation, it must first form a cabinet. We'll have to choose between General Dax. Uh, oh, okay, to lead France. Does it? Does it really? Does it really matter which one I I choose? France requires discipline and order. We need a diplomat to ease tensions. Do, 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 do. Does it really matter? Yes, we'll grab you. 
Okay, right. Do we have any other decent generals? Um, we have a decent panzer guy. Rokozovsky. Oh, my days. Yes. That is fantastic. Viva la revolution. I'm so excited to see for you during the inauguration ceremony of the new Committee des Salud. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, we have some decent generals in here. Misak is also pretty good. Joseph Epstein, Epstein is also pretty good. He's okay. He's just reckless. You're old and you're you're cautious. Paul, you might as well come and see some action. And China's starting to blow up. Marshall, we prefer back to Nanjing. Wow. Jackson was going to from formation. Jackman reformation. Okay, oh my god, stability. The Jackman regime will transition. Right, so. Have I done a bad already? I'm hoping we're going to get another event. Uh, Elect Japanese. Abolish the CGT. Oh, there's trial events. Where, where are the trial events? Show trials. Oh, yes. Oh, no, that's a BGT and it's CSP. Oh, my days. And we're about to finish Road to War. Finally. We've done it. Eh? The Fourth International. <laughs> Commune will liberate African workers. Declares one of the French national state. Wow, just declare war on everybody. Legacy of Lent. See, do we have to start doing any of this? I'll wait a little bit longer. What shall we do? Inefficient intelligence. We might as well get rid of that. Dissolution of the CGT. Okay, right, we'll see we'll see what happens. Obviously we're gonna help in the Spanish Civil War. Is Italy with us? Yeah, Italy's already with us. Reports of military unrest. Well, recent reforms are making a grand strides in setting France on the true path of socialism have upset many in the French society. Now the reports reaching the ears of the uh, Committee de Generaux, Risa, whatever it is, that there are murmurs of dissent even within the guard to of national integrity. Keep a close eye. Hmm. What is going on here? Left Kumitang is going after Anqing. Damn, the Left Kumitang is doing bits. Simmer Wang. Wang. Stephen X is elected as new Pope. Okay. And Anqing has died already. Wow. That was that was quick. Do you know the horse for the Spartacade? Do you know what? A British city can hold it. Because we're going to win medals anyways. Oh gosh, a lag. Jeez. Hmm, the Republic of Ireland. I could invade you. Once I have the world tension to do so. Oh, flippin' heck, man. Oofed. Oh. We think to figure out the implement. Along with the respective war, he and Maurice Cameron have begun to call openly for desperate political fractions of the United and opposition Jacobin government, which in any view is having corrupt betrayed the revolution. <gasps> Bring them to trial. That's what we need. We need them trials. I'm very interested in taking out the Netherlands as well, just to open up another front with the Germans. Um, 
Now, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that Russia actually has some brain cells when I'm working with them this time. Well, not completely working with them, but you know what I mean. We are preparing the third national since 1927. Now we are nearly ready to hold the first Congress right here on Montmartre Hill in Paris, built on the ruins of Sacre Coeur. I, I, I probably said it wrong. For three days, the city will host delegates from almost every social syndicalist and Bolshevik party from all across the world. We, the French, will take the floor first. That this, if we are still planning on hosting the first Congress and continuing the work of the Second International. Some stability, yay. Yeah, I'm uh, hoping Russia can actually do well against the Germans. But not too well. Like, they can maybe push in slightly, and then I'll come in and just kill them both. That that kind of slowly. Um, oh, the Entente's going to be... Oh my gosh, I didn't notice our stability is actually in the negative. Um, Labor Day, yay, some stability. Um, I'm hoping... Alright, that's fine. I'm hoping the Entente kind of just uh, doesn't do very well. Edward with a bowler hat just doesn't look right. <laughs> All delegates have arrived. Glorious. More stability. Can't wait for India to be a mess with the next update. Um, okay, that's that's great. We show our true face. Hey, oh, we were hiding it from you. We are 13,000 guns short. Uh, syndicalism in Spain. French, the French pledge your support and ask all other members the same. I like how I don't get a choice there. I would happy, I'd be very happy to leave them. William Big Bill Haywood and the Combined Syndicates. Pledge our support for the American workers. We need to nurture social, uh, syndicalism in Latin America. Uh, women's role in the worldwide revolution. Women in the factory. Send them back to the kitchens. Whoa, 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 whoa. They can, they can come here. We're not going to send them back to the kitchens. Whoa. Policy on the Italian Peninsula. Guarantee your friends in Torino. Aid when the time comes. Uh, we're sending military advisors to the Bartia Commune. And we went ahead and finished the... Well, we got rid of that now. Some military factories would be nice. But also, an extra research lot would also be nice. And let's get that. Research speed. So we actually do have Desire of Revenge, which is pretty nice. Bartia Commune asks for help. Yes, I shall send you advisors. And the White Terror denounce the capitalist murderers and their social democratic assistance. Oh, okay, the Paris Trail. Right, right, right. Uh, the role of the economic crisis and the role of the foreign nation. Now, an opportunity. All right, okay, the Paris Trials. Various leading figures of the, uh, the Front Popular, as well as other prominent potential allies of theirs, such as Maurice Gamelin, have been arrested and are being tried for treason. The Paris Trail aims to prove that Bloom and his associates have undermined the revolution and weakened France's defence against the German foe. Bloom, being both a lawyer and excellent public speaker, has used the courtroom to make a brilliant indictment of the Jacobin regime. Gamelin has remained silent throughout, refusing to recognise the court's right to try him. Trials not gone according to plan and defendants have, despite heavy ma ma manipulation of the proceedings, proving largely successful in rebutting, rebutting sorry, the charges and won sympathetic coverage in both the unofficial domestic and international press. has become such an embarrassment to our communist regime that some of the leadership is considering ordering it called off. Others wish to push forward next to defense regardless, as they have become far too great a threat to be allowed to go free. Call the whole thing off. Nothing could go wrong. The Cambridge Conference, along with the politicians, led in a separate meeting of scientists from France and took place in the old university in Cambridge. It was decided that the central countries could, uh, should combine their research in order to develop a weapon capable of protecting the revolution from increasingly aggressive imperialist threats. Knowledge is power. The end of the First Congress. Oh, Gamelin's March on Palace. Reports are reaching the... Uh, these guys, the units loyal to the Civil War, General Maurice Gamelin has mu have mutinied, declared for the pop uh, Front Popular. Gamelin is marching to Palace. The rebels seize the capital. Uh, the Front Popular restores order. Front Popular has seized Paris and begun purging the Jacobins from the city. Communes throughout France have taken this opportunity to liquidate their own branches of the Communist Party. Gilliam and Bloom have restored the formerly abolished syndicalist institutions, the CGT and BGT, and the emergency elections again has been elected as chairman of the Bourges General du Travel, with Bloom appointed chairman of the Committee des Salut Public. Now this grand alliance of syndicalists, social democrats and socialists have seized power. They hope to undo the... To um, Total Italian oppression imposed on the French citizens by the Jacobins. And okay, we got some damage. 
And I'll, we get some stability, though. Maurice Torres dies. Wow. Boom. Oh, we're blue again. Oh, that's so nice. French Social is probably... I love the flag. It's a sword with a rose on it. Well, stuff your research now. <laughs> the counter-revolution. France was again faced a radical change in direction. The prior revolutions failed to establish their own uh, their will over the nation. France will once more go down the path of uncertainty and rebirth. Oh, who's the commonards? Oh, crack down the Jacobins. Do we still end up at war with the Germans? Is, is that still a thing? The defender of France. What do you have right now? Oh my god, recruitable population plus 5%. Shove that up your Wilhelm, hmm? Yeah. Right. Well, we are a social republic. You know, we can be we can be friends other France if you really want to. We are... We're not as bad as we once were. We have changed our ways. Um... Marshal Maurice Gamelin has taken control of France, restoring communal democracy and purging the Jacobins. Is this social democracy? Well, I think so. We get 15 stability from that as well. We are just jumping right up there. Daily total support. That should hopefully go. Comrade Spirit will have to get that. Oh, he's here. Mussolini has joined us once again. We just can't get enough of him. Right, um, yeah, a year's, a year's not passed yet, but uh, we do need to start actually pumping out the factories. Oh, declare martial law. More recruitable population. Oh, there's recru recruitable population factor. Division organization goes down slightly, and uh, we start to lose total support, which is grand. Daily syndicalist, radical socialist, and social democracy. Poland falls to syndicalism. Oh, how glorious. A victory for the people. Fantastic. Now, Kornilov, can you just die in the Soviet Union? Come? That would also be, you know, a pretty good. Oh, Bastille Day celebrations. 20 political power. I shall take that. It's not exactly amazing, but it's still PP. Oh, we've we lost the, the general. Um. No! It was Rokazovsky. How dare you do that to me, game? How dare you purge him off? I am very I am very displeased. How could you dangle that in front of me and then just swipe him away? He didn't even do anything. Oh well, must have been a Jacobin then. Oh well. That's what you get for being a Jacobin in this uh playthrough. You get, you get the death. Um, right, how are our divisions looking? They're not looking too bad. I don't know if we have our... Uh, we're not really going to have artillery, but... Um, the FOP requests manpower. The Workers' Front of Patagonia, known as the FOP, has requested that we aid their struggle by sending them manpower and equipment. Soon they will face war with the Argentine government, and they need to be prepared for when it happens. If they succeed, they can become a permanent foothold of syndicates of South America. Who will then still end up losing to Brazil? Yes, you may have men and guns. Um, oh, we got an event for all these. It's only 35 days. Let's declare martial law first. Brilliant. That is absolutely fantastic. What do we gain a day? Not bad. Um, right, I was looking at templates there. Um, We don't actually have, yeah, we don't have either of these, but then again, oh, what? You're striking at Poland that early. Well, I'm, I'm very, very displeased by that as well. How dare you game chuck Poland towards me like that and then just swipe them away like they're nothing. Oh, at least we've got Elbert Dolphus here. Engelbert, sorry. Which means Germany's going to have another enemy. Entertainer declares independence. Well, you know what time it is. Time to send some tanks over to say hi to the Germans. 
Hey yo, I can send you one division. I got too excited. I can send you a single tank. A single tank division. I hope you're gonna appreciate this because you know it's a it's a lot of effort for me. Right. I can't believe Poland's just gonna die. Be German. But uh, it's going to be interesting to see what uh, Engelbert Dolphus gets up to. Just hope it doesn't go ahead and try and kill Germany, you know, that early. Actually, though, no, just wait a wee bit, see what happens. Oh! Okay. That's cool. I, I'm not going to assist Austria, because I kind of want Austria, the other Austria, Engelbert to win. Anyways, we're now here. Don't worry, Jax Doriat will uh, will help. And Jean Jean is the guy. He is the man. Come on, declare that martial law. Right? Do you want to? Yeah, do you want to? Do you want to actually like move your? Oh, now you just declare one Jabal Shamer, and martial law has been declared. If we wish to restore order and stability, our con uh, to our country. We have to declare martial law and expand the executive powers of the government. The Front Popular will govern the nation and lead the reformation, whilst the military under Marshal Gamelin will ensure that the populace remains under control. Well, this will ensure that we have no more room to act and that we can enforce our reforms, this won't be popular within the population, which fears that we might become the very thing we swore to destroy. Okay, we lost our stability. It's for the greater good, people. It's for the greater good. Now we're going to do restore an order, because I quite fancy getting order restored. But anyways guys, I'm going to leave that episode there, because we are out of time. So thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I shall be back very soon for some more. Till then, take care, cheer bye, da da.